So let's let's just get real about avoidance, the avoidance strategy. When you avoid things for a long time, you start to learn this little trick called dissociation. Now, what's that, you ask? Well, it's when you disconnect from your own thoughts and feelings and even the sensations in your body. You basically detach from yourself. And let me tell you, that's a sure sign that someone has been through some serious trauma and stuck in fight flight mode for a really long time and dealing with anxiety just left and right. And when dissociation kicks in, it can bring along its best friend, panic attacks. Yeah, those sneaky little buggers that pop up out of nowhere, making your heart race and your palms sweat. Now here's the thing, when it comes to stress and anxiety, you gotta carry it either in your body or in your mind. And sometimes it's easier to carry it in your mind. If you can understand what's going on up there, how your mind works and all that stuff that's happening in that jungle, gray matter, it can actually help calm some of the body sensations down. But if the anxiety decides to set up camp inside your body without you even realizing it, well, buckle up. When those body sensations start making an appearance and you're clueless about what's happening and you're gonna react. So if we break it down, either the anxiety sets up shop in your mind first and then body sensations come crashing in and you react to both of them at the same time keeping that cycle just spinning and spinning or anxiety takes place inside your body and then your mind starts creating all of these stories and about what your body is feeling trying to make sense of it and either way it just feels like this toxic vortex is just kind of living inside your body and it feels like it's never ending so what's the solution it's time to bring the mind and the body together Understand what's happening up top and be aware what's going on down below and break the vicious cycle. And I know you can do it.